This is very satisfying right here. Not much for shiny chrome stuff. Guard looks a million times better. Sweet. How's it going guys? It is extremely early in the morning, especially for a guy that works third shift. <laughs> but, got Squeak here. Like I said, she made it back to the house. Um, rightfully named because of the squeaking belt, or whatever squeaking. Pretty sure it's the uh, AC um, idler pulley. So, we'll fix the Squeak, but I'm still gonna name it Squeak. I just think it's kind of funny. So, this is Squeak the vet. <laughs> but yeah, we're just, um, we'll say de -ricifying. Squeak, like I said, got all that, all the chrome stuff off, a little stuff around the headlights, a little grill thing in the front, whatever. But that's not what this is about, because that's simple, stupid stuff. Like I said, um, we're going to fix the squeak, hopefully, and uh, put exhaust on it, do like fluids and all that good stuff, because there's like the brake fluid stuff is just disgusting in this thing. <sighs> But yeah, we're gonna start out with just doing a quick sound check of the factory exhaust, and then we'll rip this off. We got um, headers, X-pipe, everything. So full exhaust going on. I'm looking forward to it because this thing is very <laughs> extremely quiet. And who wants a quiet Corvette? Like makes no sense. But anyway, we're gonna dive right into it and get started. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. We got the Corvette in there. That in itself was enough for me to regret all life choices right there. What a pain, Jesus. <laughs> but we got the relay in for the fan. Gonna fire this thing up, let it warm up, and then I'm just gonna like rev it, let you hear the stock exhaust. So, I'm gonna do that right now. Fingers crossed that that relay actually fixes the fans, because that sucks. All right, we got the majority of the old exhaust out of there. Junk. Little worried because getting everything ready, I'm gonna clean up under the car before I put everything back together. This is the little plate that covers up the torque tube. And it looks like, you know, it's never been out before. So, if it's never been out before, I'm gonna get up under the car real quick. Yeah, I wanna clean up under the car because it's kind of dirty. So and I can't stand for my car to be dirty, so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's ever been out before. And if that's the case, that means that this is the original clutch. And if this is the original clutch, it's got like 140,000 miles on it. So I don't know if that's a thing or not, but it definitely looks like it hasn't been touched. And I'm not looking forward to messing with putting a clutch in a Corvette because um, um, there's even like a little, you know, warning thing right here, so. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be much fun because you, know, you got to take the whole entire rear subframe and everything out, the transmission, differential, all that crap. So that's it's going to be a pain. But anyway, I'm not going to worry about it until it's an issue. The clutch seems to be okay-ish. So it is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to pressure wash up under here and uh, then we'll pull the stock manifolds out and start putting the headers and everything in. So, up, on, up under the car, it don't look too bad though. I know these are gonna be like weird angles, but it is, uh, you know, can't get the car up that high, so. I was kind of worried about the bottom of the car being like, you know, beat up and scratched up, but it's not too bad. Really don't see any damage, so. Yeah, just gonna get it cleaned up since I'm already up under here. Get it cleaned up, throw the exhaust on it, and uh, we'll move on to Putting, installing the lowering bolts and everything so all right enough of me rambling i'm gonna get back to it all right it's not uh it's not perfect but definitely better than what it was but, all right so we'll move on and we get these manifolds out of here 
and then it should be pretty once we get the headers in here it should be pretty straightforward so wish me luck guys that this goes well i'm probably gonna need it all right as you can tell a considerable amount of time has passed but we're making good progress just my ocd of trying to clean everything up and do it. i mean i'm gonna add a bunch of stuff to the list we got like uh transmission fluid differential fluid you know you name it we're gonna do brakes flush the brakes flush the clutch because uh look at this it's disgusting i'll show you all the headers in a second but we're making we're making good progress i just want to show you this because this is freaking disgusting this lets me know that the clutch is probably the original one <laughs> all right y'all ready would you look at that holy cow it looks like burnt motor oil <laughs> but yeah that's probably a real like with everything else that's a really good sign that this clutch is the original one so <laughs> it sucks so i know i have to do a clutch thing eventually but this thing will probably get a lot of stuff you know as we go on you know clutch and cam and who knows heads intake all kind of stuff so we'll just see but and it, it is what it is <laughs> but like so we got the exhaust completely off 100 percent i've already got one of the headers sitting down uh it actually went down pretty good considering it's a long tube uh long tube header so gonna get the rest of the egr system out like i said in the back they say you gotta take the intake off but i'm gonna figure out a way to get it out i'm not doing all that not that you guys are probably going to see but we got all the old exhaust stuff out right here just hanging out so but yeah i'm probably going to mess with it a little bit more tonight like i said i was hoping to get at least the headers on so i could like crank it up with just headers and stuff like that but uh, i want to be kind to my neighbors and not you know fire up a car at like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock at night with uh just headers on it <laughs> so i'm gonna continue working with it probably get like at least the at least get you know the fluids changed and stuff like that maybe i'll finish the exhaust tomorrow while i'm holding the camera that way so yeah i'm gonna get the fluids and everything done and then we will resume probably in the morning i'll finish getting the exhaust done and i'll let y'all guys hear what it sounds like and uh get the lowering bolts on and all that good stuff this might be a very long video but but all right like i, said, I just want to take a break and get you guys caught up i'm going to finish doing a few things and then i'm probably call it a night like i said i'll finish it in the morning but you'll see that in just a second so back to work for me so yeah that's the way it should look nice and clean I'm gonna move on to the brakes now <laughs> yes sir maintenance it's important make sure you do it <laughs> All right, guys, we, uh, we moved on to the brakes, and I just wanted to show you this trick real quick. If you crack your bleeder valve to where it's barely dripping, you know, basically you want to make sure it's sealed, but just crack it to where it, it's, it'll leak. Get you a little silicone hose, run it down into your Starbucks cup from earlier, put about this much fluid in it, make sure the silicone hose is in the fluid, then you can get in the car and you can pump the brakes and it'll push all the old fluid out but won't pick up any air. And if there's air in the system, it'll push the air out, the air will come to the top of that fluid, and when you pull it, when you let off the brakes, it will just pull in fluid. It won't pull in any air. So you can actually bleed your brakes and your clutch this way. So just a quick little little tip if you're doing it by yourself. And it works really well. So I'm going to get in there and pump all this nasty crud out and just do all four corners, get some fresh fluid in this thing, and uh, we'll move on to uh, trans fluid. So, yeah, then differential. Sweet. But anyway, just want to show that little trick real quick. It's going to be a long night for me. But anyway, it's going to be worth it. <laughs> all right. What can I say? We got everything done. I got it all buttoned up. Um, got the exhaust on. It's not finished yet. I got to do like some tweaking to kind of get the tips to line up perfectly. So I'm done with that. But 
I'm done with this thing for now. I got dirt on my face. Look at that. Yeah, see? Whatever. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm done messing with this thing. I'm burnt out on it. But I'm going to show you the exhaust and we'll do a quick little, you know, a couple revs and that's going to be the end of this video. <laughs> Alright. But it fits up pretty good. Um, not too bad. Like I said, everything's still just everything's still loose like so I'm having some fitment issues or not fitment issues just um, alignment issues with the tips back here can't get them to line up quite right it's not bad I'm just like I said kind of OCD when it comes to certain things but yeah so I'm gonna fire this thing up give you all a couple of revs and then like I said that's gonna end of this video Alright, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, it's not too loud, but loud enough. Like I said, got all the fluids done. Um, I even did oil. Oil, fresh plug wires, uh, diff fluid, transmission fluid, brake fluid, clutch fluid. <laughs> so, I'm going to finish up the exhaust, and the next video we'll put the lowering bolts on and take this thing for a spin. So, it's looking pretty good, but I'm just burnt out for now. So, I think this video is going to be long enough anyway. <laughs> But like always guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you subscribe, stick around, all that good stuff. As always, it's greatly appreciated. And we'll see you on the next one.